Hey viewers, Matt here, more commonly known as the BrickWiz on YouTube and Instagram, and today I'm going to be reviewing the D.Va and Reinhardt Overwatch 2019 set, which exclusively came in this awesome box from LEGO. First, I wanted to thank Beyond the Brick for giving me the opportunity to be here today, but today we're going to be looking at the Reinhardt and D.Va Overwatch set, which is to come in 2019. Here, we have some B-roll shots of the really awesome exclusive box, which it came in. So as you can see from the back of the box, it's actually laid out like its own exclusive LEGO set with the age and the pieces which is super cool on behalf of Lego and Overwatch. Such an exciting line to come here. On one side of the box, we had Reinhardt, and on the other side, we are going to have the D.Va mech, both of which are the mechs in Overwatch's game. Now, getting on into the box itself, it folds open very easily, which is really awesome. Inside is a personal note from Lego and Overwatch, the team. Now, you can go ahead and pause the video to take a quick look, but in an essence, it's basically thanking us for all the support from both Lego and Overwatch, and more importantly, hoping that we enjoy the exclusive uh, D.Va and Reinhardt set to come in 2019 that we fortunately have our hands on early now we're also going to have an exclusive tracer minifigure in this exclusive box i will get into that later in the video but all you have to know is that in this awesome little box is going to be a very unique tracer which again i will get into later in today's review and then we also do have the uh, backboard here that says the calvary is here getting us hyped for our very own set and voila under we have the diva and reinhardt set number seven five nine seven three four hundred fifty five pieces ages 10 and up i cannot get enough of this overwatch art on the box itself it looks super awesome and if you guys did not know both sides actually function as the front of the box which is a new unique idea to the overwatch theme now getting into the tracer figure just one single minifigure in this box now what is so exclusive about the tracer minifigure in this box is going to be the weapons the weapons are actually gold contrary to the normal silver or chrome color that the rest um, of the tracers in overwatch will actually be having we have a brand new hair piece and goggles on the front the printing is absolutely pristine I am absolutely in love uh, with all the different colors that this one has. And of course, on the back, we have her lightning bolt to signify her lightning fast speed from Overwatch, which is super cool to see. Overall, a great minifigure. And that's something that all the Overwatch sets are going to have coming down in this line is just a really, really awesome sense of minifigure style. And more importantly, game accuracy. I think a lot of people who are accustomed to Overwatch the game will find a lot of similarities um, in these minifigures, which I think a lot of people are going to be happy about. Overall, super awesome that we got another additional trait figure in addition to the actual set and speaking of our set let's go ahead and dive into the diva and reinhardt set again number 75973 455 pieces ages 10 and up 2019 overwatch the box art is fantastic like i said before earlier in the video i'm um, aside from the blizzard entertainment logo on the bottom right it does function as a double-sided set now this means that both sides of the set actually function as the front on the left panel of the box we have diva and reinhardt minifigures of course in their respective sense and of course like all the sets we do have the actual representation Presentation of the minifigures on the other side of the box we have the lego logo the overwatch logo and then the overwatch insignia which boy i cannot get enough of now here we get a front look at the box again something you guys have seen throughout this video however let's take a little bit of a closer look onto the back side which is notably a change in scene a change in daytime obviously it is nighttime now and you can see the minifigures and their names much more profoundly which is really cool for and interesting for people who are just wanting to know more about the set the minifigures what it comes with overall it's a really awesome idea on behalf of overwatch for doing this with their new sets and now finally getting into the unboxing of the overwatch set it's a pretty small box i'm not going to lie um it's not anything massive or something you cannot handle upon getting the three bags out here we have one bag for diva and two for reinhardt they are numbered here we have a sticker pad um that comes with a whole bunch of stickers again for both the mechs for diva and reinhardt we do have two separate manuals one is for the specific reinhardt mech and then the second manual is going to be for the specific diva mech i think it's better that lego actually did this separating the mechs into two separate instructions that way people don't get overwhelmed but here guys we have a final look a final finished product of what we get in the set and boy the first thing that comes to my mind is this doesn't look like a lego set this is awesome it looks so realistic it looks like a typical buildable figure not necessarily from lego just like an action figure and as a fan of lego and as a fan of overwatch seeing the accuracy to the game and seeing the fact that these sets don't look like lego is fantastic obviously i'm saying that in a really good way because the use of different parts and different angles and different slopes within this actual set makes it look really unique and makes it look really realistic and of course we will get into a whole bunch of these specifics uh come later in this review now first let's go ahead and dive on into diva the former korean professional gamer in overwatch lore one of the best things about this mech is the dual cannons on the front which are fully posable and one of the great things i also 
love about this figure is that the legs move extremely well. It's extremely fluent, which is great for establishing the figure in any way or in any manner that you want. The feet provide a very sturdy foundation, so you don't have to worry about this thing falling overnight, falling because of a gust of wind. It's a pretty sturdy foundation for the mech. Moving to the right of the mech, we have a Blizzard sticker and a couple of more that you will see in the lore and in the actual game. The back hatch is one of two ways in which you can actually put the pilot diva in her mech, which opens up very easily like this and closes just easily like a hatch. Of course, we have the two posable jump pads on the back of her mech themselves. The tops are completely posable as well. A lot of custom ability involved in this mech, which is something I love. And then on the left, we obviously have more stickers um, just again to kind of get that really awesome sense of accuracy, which is something that I think Overwatch has done a fantastic job of so far. And I cannot wait for more sets to come. Now, getting on into the other way that D.Va can enter her mech is going to be through the front. All you have to do is essentially pry the uh, top and bottom part away from each other, opening a very, very movable and roomy opening for the figure to pop in there. And then just closes very simple, no sort of interlocking system, which is great for pulling the figure in and out. I'd also like to draw your attention to the two cannons on the front of D.Va's mech, the stickers, particularly on the side. I think they do a fantastic job of recreating the sides of those two cannons. And I think overall, the architecture that's involved in these mechs are fantastic. Getting into the D.Va figure, which is awesome. The printing on the front is completely game accurate, going into a little bit of the lower half of her legs. The hair piece with the sort of cat headphones is super, super cool. I don't believe we've gotten one like that. And of course, it's super relieving to see a very accurate minifigure portrayed in Lego, um, especially for a brand new Overwatch theme coming. And this is D.Va's second face, more of a wink, more of a funny gesture. And you can also get a very clear view of the back printing. Again, we have that color of black and pink and blue, which looks super, super awesome. Now, of course, there was always room for improvement, but for a first minifigure of D.Va from Lego and Overwatch combined, I think we have a very, very nice look looking one and now getting into my favorite aspect my favorite mech and minifinger combination in this set we have Reinhardt the who seems to be the polar opposite right we had the pink fun colored diva and now we have the very dark very serious almost looking like a knight Reinhardt. Now, one of the things I would love to point out is the detail again on the shoulders and the back engines. We have the trans clear orange parts, which simulate the sort of explosions and the propulsion systems that the mech does have. Much like D.Va, we do have a very strong basis for the posing of the legs. Now, one of the great things about the Reinhardt mech is the fingers on the actual mech are completely different um, from the apparatus that actually holds his hammer in his right hand. As you can see, the fingers can come in and out, but the actual hammer is connected through another piece, which really makes it awesome. Now, the former German Crusader and Overwatch agent looks incredibly menacing in combination with the very dark colors and slight hints of yellow both from his visor and the mech itself with the stickers on either shoulder. Again, another perfectly portrayed figure in Overwatch LEGO and again getting a closer look at his weapon of choice. Because Reinhardt plays the role of a tank in Overwatch, it is very clear and very awesomely portrayed as in fact a tank. Now getting Reinhardt in his mech is super easy compared to D.Va. All you have to do is uplift the latch, place them in. It's a very similar process for taking them out and giving you guys more shots of the awesome combination of gray and dark gray throughout the mech itself. Again, looking not really like a Lego set, more of a buildable figure or a construction figure, which is super awesome. Now, getting into the Reinhardt figure, one thing I'm disappointed about is that there is no printing on the legs. I'm sure Lego could have found a way to do something like that, but it also reminds me of a little bit of an Iron Man. On one face, we do have the visor, and on the other face, we do have Reinhardt with the mask off and looking more like the 60 one year old does in the game really awesome details on his face and with the hair but guys that's gonna wrap up this review of the lego overwatch diva and reinhardt set number 75973 comment down below what you're all thinking of this set if you guys are thinking about picking up this specific one or if anyone is going to be picking up any overwatch sets once again guys these sets come in 2019 from your local lego stores and shop at home online once again i want to give a huge thank you to beyond the brick and lego for giving me the opportunity to be here i sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed my review be sure to go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this coming very very soon until then this has been matt again the brick Wiz on youtube and instagram i hope you guys all enjoyed hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you all later peace